Okay, I just removed these from the fridge. As you can see, this one has many mushrooms all over. And this one as well. And not as many mushrooms, but still a few of them. Okay, but <coughs> these three we don't have any mushrooms. Uh, actually, because the difference is that these two, I washed them before putting the fridge last Saturday. Uh, but not these three. That has not been washed. So they like to have this new water during the cooling in the fridge. So I think now I will always wash the blocks before putting them in the fridge. It helps for the new mushrooms to, to get out. Um, now I'm going to wash all the block, all these blocks, like uh, the one I showed you uh, the other day, and put them in the greenhouse with a lot of moisture to get many stake. Okay, so we have the four blocks I have washed. Remove the bag. So this uh, uh, these one are the one. I have washed before the fridge, so there is this different place where you can see uh, mushrooms pinning. On this one as well, like here, here, here. And the other ones don't have any mushrooms. Uh, I think there is one who has something like little start of something but that's all I mean all around they have nothing growing so uh, maybe this is a new mushroom this and this uh, the last bag I will leave it with his bag I will wash it anyway so I will just open it from here Remove the filter, wash it, put the filter back. I forgot to mention also that uh, I, after washing these blocks, I also beat, beat them. So I think I show for the previous blocks something like this. And you heard the squishy sound, the block soaked with moisture. And also the one that I will let leave the bag. Actually, I will let it also soak a little bit in water. Uh, it will stay like this for like one, two hours. And then I will put the filter back and put it in the greenhouse. Okay, this is what is going on inside. There is some mushrooms growing. Uh, looks like there is a lot of things that has aborted like here 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 I don't know really why it's very moist in, in here so they shouldn't do that look at this one in particular has many many white balls that didn't develop into mushrooms and we have this one that has a lot lot of mushrooms Probably I should harvest them today. These ones looks like at the bottom the atmosphere is better. And this one we let it keep the bag. I don't know if it made any new mushrooms since yesterday. Now I'm going to remove the bag and put it like the other ones. I don't know, maybe there is not enough uh, Oxygen, because it's very closed, but, well, I still uh, didn't figure out everything for the shiitake, it's so complicated mushroom, compared to oyster, but it's so funny as well. Okay, uh, here uh, you see a block I just uh, started. 
I got it out of the fridge today. And this block is covered with pins everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And we have another one like this. This one. Look at these pins everywhere on the block. And I believe that this is the reason is uh, actually these blocks are made with uh, sawdust and bran and these ones are made with sawdust and coffee grounds so the coffee grounds and this one as well doesn't have as much pins as the other one but there's still many pins like here 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 up there here i mean many of them but that's not this craziness of pins everywhere, everywhere. So, this is just uh, a remark that yes, uh, brand blocks will make maybe better pin set than coffee grounds. So, I never noticed to this point because this I treated them exactly the same way together and the only difference was the brand. Three days later, the same uh, uh, shiitake block, this one with brand, with brand again, and with coffee ground. So this one is quite late to make uh, food. But, uh, Okay, this is the last batch of um, shiitake. Uh, this one has only bran. Uh, I mean, 20% bran, but no coffee. And we have protein everywhere. I think it's even too many mushrooms. Somehow I like more the one or two big mushrooms that the coffee ground blocks give but well so what I'm going to do now for the weekend is to reduce the moisture in this greenhouse uh, to let's say 93 94 percent now it's on 98 it's too much for the mushroom, they get, the block get um, mold growing and the pins don't uh, grow normally with so much moisture. So that's what I'm going to do is re reduce a bit the moisture, but still it's, it won't be the 80% of the, of the oyster mushrooms, it will be more like, um, 93, going to do it right now. So, 93 should be enough. And it will start at 90. The humidifier will start at 19 and stop at 93. And as I have shown previously the setup, I have this ventilator here, pushing air inside this small bucket. And inside there is water and one humidifier. It is actually connected to the big, big bucket with the siphon bridge. So I have this small, small humidifier for the small greenhouse, the shiitake, actually not very full, and uh, the big bucket for the big greenhouse that goes up there and you see it, it's working right now. It's very dry day today. So um, that's it. I will come back in a few days to harvest all these beautiful mushrooms.